started back then was um, attracting whores and bohemians and uh, artists of all kinds. Um, people were going out all the time and yet the art house was open 24 hours a day. It had a bottle, it had um, a cinema, a spa, um, theatre of course, they did uh, reviews, they did art uh, shows of all kinds and it was actually one of the first multiplex houses in Berlin at least, and maybe uh, definitely in Germany and probably across Europe, which had everything under one roof. The walls of the house breathe that atmosphere. You can sense it. You can still sense it. Berlin has always been a very excessive um, city, actually. Uh, I think I've been here now for 52 years, and um, it seems to be something a, a, a general energy in Berlin that people like it. Who are actually the women that are involved in burlesque or stripping or any kind of erotic performance? I mean, where do they actually come from? I was born in Hollywood, California in 1969. Yo, then see you, then little swine, and a papa, and all more. Oh, oh, oh. I say my mother was uh, the, my introduction. And Stevie Wonder, love me, don't you love me? I know you, Stevie Wonder, I'm in Gangnam Style. And that was very worldly and a gorgeous gallop. What attracted me to these uh, burlesque pioneers, these burlesque stars, they all had tragic backgrounds and all had this kind of like thing about them that my mother had, even though she wasn't um, a burlesque star, but she was a model and she was also um, Henry Mancini's mistress. Uh, it was just like women that like were abused and fucked over by men and society and tried to make their way in the world, you know, in outside of the conventional manner. To me, details are important because that's part of the fantasy. It's part of like transforming um, and altering one's reality and bringing people into something that isn't the everyday average normal day-to-day. -day. You know what I mean? That's what makes something 